Hello team and welcome to today's Excel video where I'm gonna be sharing with you how to create a hyperlink in Excel that combines multiple emails for a project team so that when you click the link for that email, you'll see Excel takes you right to your email provider of choice so it can be sent. Let's jump in. Double click in the cell where you'd like the email hyperlink to be. And then we'll begin by entering the hyperlink function. This creates a clickable link for the email group. Because we want to send an email, I need to enter mail to and a colon wrapped in quotations. Enter the ampersand symbol so we can connect another function. And now we're going to use the text join function to combine all the different cells and emails. The standard delimiter or separator for each email in this case will be the semicolon. And this should be the same for any email provider that you use. Then enter a comma to get to the next part of the text join function. We do want this to ignore empty cells so that if we take out an email, it won't mess up the function. So I'll enter true, another comma, and then you can highlight the range of cells where you want to combine. Even if some emails are not there yet, it's good to give yourself that extra space in case you add them. Closing parentheses to wrap up this function. Then after another comma, you'll see Excel takes me back to the hyperlink function where I can enter a friendly name. And this is what I want to appear in the cell. For this in quotations, I'll enter group email, one final closing parentheses, and then I can click enter. And now if I click the group email link, you'll see my email pops up and it's all ready to send. Team, I hope you enjoyed this tip today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.